Let's hear it for Johnny. It's like a really good auto accident, you know? It's just, you don't know. And we'll pretend I entered that way and we'll start here. <laughs> Hi, Matt. I was gonna do a show if that's cool. Wanna do like an organic photo shoot instead of this planned one? Well, hang on, get my good side. <laughs> Blowing my punchline. There it is. <laughs> you, I'm sorry, you're welcome. You're wel Good, okay. <laughs> Believe we've covered it, it's sort of, are you okay? <laughs> it's just, it's, it's a little ass, that's all it was. <laughs> I love you in a way I can't express because my restraining <laughs> because my restraining order prevents it. <laughs> but thank you. And dad ass as well. <sighs> it, was like, it was pretty good. <laughs> I, I went with it. I had no idea. Brett? Normally I do a monologue thing, but people have started joining me. Hang on. <laughs> but, but Brett, stop. Okay. I'm not sure if that was him or not. Because sometimes he'll be like, Good. and sometimes he'll get excited and be like, Excellent. and then sometimes he's like, <laughs> and I just have to accept that's how he is. Yeah. Did I point? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I thought he'd say it upside down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. I'll take it, thank you. Can you imagine if I actually had a script where I'd be right now? I'd be like, what? What? No, I'd be terrible. I, it, it is something of an identity crisis, just standing up here. I, Johnny, Johnny said it best, you know, we, we come up here and these are, is me? Yeah, this is, this is probably more honestly me than a lot of the me's you're going to meet. I'm sorry. Uh, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> But it is, it is honestly, it is me. You know, I, we, we take on different personas, a little larger than life. Sometimes we're... I can be quieter. <laughs> sorry. Larger than life. We can be. <laughs> you want water? I'll get you water. You won't? Hang on. I feel bad because, you know, we, we were talking and it's so good. Hang on. Just a second, everybody. Yeah, okay. Thank you. All right. And where are you? There you go. It's a good thing we don't have people for that. Otherwise, I would have missed out on that moment. Where the hell was I? Thank you. I make it work. Called improv, where you just go with it. You understanding? Good. Teaching moment. <laughs> so, uh, persona bigger than life, uh, dumber than life. Why did I hell did I do that? I'm still asking. Uh, Alicia's got whiplash now because she tried to pull a camera around to catch that, which I'm sure didn't happen. But if it did, you know, wow, the internet's going to be confused. <laughs> it's just me and that one guy. We're okay. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, 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 it's, a lot of, it's a lot of BS. <laughs> but, but it's real. It's honest from a place of, of joy and love and who we really are. And we, we, we dial that up to 11 and we see what happens. That's, that's what theater really is. Uh, you know, you can, you can wear appropriate clothing. Thank you for the courtesy clap. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Um, <laughs> I, one person, okay, I'll take it. But you know, it is, it is who, it's who we are. And, and this is the season, you know, we're about two weeks away from Spooky Stage, which is our Halloween. <laughs> and, and many of us suffer around these special times of year, certain identity crises. Um, I don't know, I, but you know, look, uh, it's, type, I play the devil a lot. I don't know why. 
people look at me and they go, he should be Satan. And when I tell them I am the devil, they go, oh, that explains things. So the truth is, I had a, I had a problem with that recently. I was, I was uh, filming a music video and somebody called me up and said, can you play the devil? I was like, again? <laughs> Can you play the devil? I'm like, yes, I can play the devil. So I went down there. I went down there. It was a great, great group of people, and it was an incredible, uh, incredible video shoot. We're going to see it in December, and I'm really excited about it. But, you know, they said, go get in the character. And so, you know, I'm sitting in the corner thinking psychotic, evil, deviant thoughts. And then they said, get in the character. So I had to start working. <laughs> uh, so I did, and I realized, you know, I was like, okay, I do the devil face and the devil. And I realized I felt like I was full of crap. I really felt like I was full of crap. And then I remembered that how I develop, I play a character, Mr. DeVille, the devil. How I developed that was to, well, take all the crap I used to be and play that, because I'm going to let you in on a secret. And I used to say this to a lot of girls, and it works. Guys, this totally works. Girls, this also totally works. (laughs) Sir, it it works. (laughs) Trying to, trying to include everybody. I, used, I tell people I used to be the devil, but I retired. And what I mean by that is that I started doing all this circus stuff. I started doing all this clown stuff, and, and that stupid blue pill over there, a pilly, was an idea about being positive, which sounds so hokey when you start, when you start popping that pill. You start thinking, well, you know, uh, okay, I'll be positive, and I'll, I'll, I'll think, how, how can I possibly be positive. And instead of the saccharine way, you start looking for, well, what's the best way I can look at this? You know, it's a burning building. Getting out of it's a win. You know, that's, that's pretty obvious thinking. It starts invading your psyche. It starts getting in your head. And then one day you realize, I'm not quite the, I'm still an ass, <laughs> but I'm not quite the same ass as I was. The big thing is that, you know, I kind of look at the world from a positive place now. I, yeah. I want, <laughs> thank you. I wasn't ready yet. It happens. Do you want one more? Oh, okay. Yeah! <laughs> so, are we good? Well, oh, sorry. Yeah! Yeah! I'll reload it after. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, learned, I learned to be a little more positive and it really, it really did affect my life. It really did affect it. It made me want to help people. It made me want to build things like this where we get together and we, you know, we celebrate the weirdness that comes from when you got a group of people who trust each other. And uh, I learned it here. And I, I realized as we're going into the season, you know, it starts off, the season starts off really cool. It starts off, hey, scary monsters. Like in two weeks, we're all going to be dressed up like scary monsters. And a few weeks after that, most of us are trying to avoid stabbing our relatives. <laughs> a lot of honest laughter in the room. Did you see that? Remember, if you go to a dinner party and you're looking for that uncle and you can't find him, that weird uncle, it's probably because it's you. I'm just going to say, I've never found the guy. (laughs) How do you think I know this? But the point is, as we go into this season, you're just dying. He's going to kill me. He's performing tonight, so he's going to just stab me in the throat when we give him a microphone. I'm looking for a very Halloween choice, I might add. As we go into the season, the positivity thing is helpful, and, and yeah, find creative and positive ways to take that stuff that's in you that's dark and sinister. Give me the red lights again. Dark and sinister. I'm not buying it either dressed like this. <laughs> it's like, dark and sinister, everybody. No. It, doesn't, it doesn't work. But then you, you enjoy the fact that you, you get to cut loose. And then don't kill anyone this holiday season. I know, I've wrecked your plans, sorry. Stay positive. I know it's a rough season coming up for a lot of people. And I want you to know you have this place. We call it the open stage. Welcome. Welcome.